Hello, lovely humans. Today I'm going to be playing um, part two, I guess. I mean, I guess I'll just put this in parts of Doki Doki Literature Club. Um, I had a lot of fun playing part one. I hope you guys enjoyed my playthrough. Um, and I saved it at maybe around the 15 minute mark, so I want each of these videos to be around the same length. So continuing on with the story, I was really enjoying it so far, so I'm going to keep it going. So here is me playing part two. Let's continue on and see what happens, and hopefully you guys enjoy. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? So judgmental. Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Yeah, totally. Uh, I guess. Why am I so nervous? get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Oh. Are you trying to impress me? Uh, th that's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. Oh, don't put your friend on the spot. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. <gasps> ah, am I becoming more open-minded and less of a douche? Yay! Not a douche. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Does Yuri have a crush on me already? Monica raises an eyebrow and then smiles at me. So, what made you consider the literature club? Um, this girl that I hate dragged me to the literature club? I mean, I can't really say that, but I was afraid of this question. Yeah, because a girl that you hate for no reason and literally bully forced you to do this. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Probably not. She might think you're a jerk. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... That's okay. Don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? She's obviously... Uh, as president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. See, I knew it. I already had these characters pegged without even, like, with barely playing this game. She was, like, the all-good, pure-hearted protagonist. She's the president of the club. Makes total sense. Um, Yuri, the one with the purple hair, is, like, the mysterious, like, super romantic, shy one. But she's also, like, really beautiful with, like, a deep side. And then the little one with the pink hair is, like, the spunky, the spunky one. And then Sayori's just... Sayori's just Sayori. <laughs> she's cute. And I like her. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member of any of the other major clubs. Um, maybe because Monica has her own interests and wanted to be in the literature club and it's not just about popularity. Why is my character so unlikable? Weren't you a, a leader of the debate club last year? Oh, uh, well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. Yes, girl! No one needs that drama. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. I love Monica. I actually think maybe Monica is my number one choice right now. She's, I like her, I like her mindset. Also, she has really pretty green eyes that I just noticed and I love her hair. I love her ponytail, it's so cute. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Aww. Monica really is a great leader. Why is Sayori so adorable? Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. Me, the freaking depressing downer. It must be hard to start a new club. Do I sense empathy for my character? You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. It's a weird statement. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah! Of course, they are the first one that's like, Woo, yeah, let's do it! We'll do our best. You know it! Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Aw, they're so cute. I love them all so far. 
Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they were all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So Kelly, what kinds of things do you like to read? Well, uh... <laughs> Didn't my character say that he just likes anime and cartoons, so probably manga? Considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. <laughs> I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. <laughs> oh, so I'm like a like a closet manga nerd. At least I'm like at least I'm learning more about my character, and I don't seem like just like a one-dimension one-dimensional douchebag anymore. That suitcase head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that could change. <laughs> what am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. Like a princess. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craft craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. Okay, why is Yuri, like, such a romantic? And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Okay, why is Yuri winning my heart right now? Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seemed so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. <sighs> Yuri, stop being so charming. She's like a, like a Shakespearean college student or something. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? <laughs> I think I have a crush. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Where did that horror? Ah, I read a horror book once. Wow, wow, that was smooth, me. Smooth, I read a horror book once. Clearly, I am just... I am just, I don't even know where I was going with that. I desperately grasp something I can relate to at the minimal level. <laughs> I love like my character's inner thought process. Like it's so funny cause I'm kind of picking up on the fact like when I first started this, I seemed so mean, but now I'm kind of getting the idea that maybe I'm secretly insecure and like I beat up myself. So that's why I'm mean to Sayori and other people. Maybe I'm thinking way too deeply into this, but my character is starting to express himself more and I feel that there's some underlying insecurity issues going on here, which is why he's so closed off. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. See what I mean? Insecure. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you. I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I can't really put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, I just... Natsuke's eyes dart over to me for a split second. She keeps looking at me. Natsuke keeps looking at me all the time. Do we have like a past? I'm sensing some kind of a past. Never mind. That's right. You usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuke? <laughs> of course she does. Look at her. She's adorable. What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called... Ooh, Monica's a tease. She likes to call them out. Don't say it out loud! <laughs> They're so cute. And give that back! Fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is just as cute as you are! Sayori slides up behind that suge and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute! <laughs> She's such the typical, like, 
adorable little anime girl who wants to prove that she's like tough and not cute, but she's obviously extremely cute. And that's why. These are, so, there's so many tropes already. Like they're all so stereotypical right now, but I don't even care, I love it. Natsuke, you write your own poems? Oh, listen to me actually trying to have a normal conversation and be nice. Character development. Eh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? Wow, how hard was that for you to say, Kelly? <laughs> I, I'll stop beating up on my character, I promise. He was just such a douche at the beginning, I can't get over it. N no Natsuke averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Aw. Ah, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuke feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. Yuri, why are you such a goddess? You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. You have my heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuke feel comfortable enough to share hers. See, this is why Monica is president. She has these good ideas to raise confidence and bring everyone together. That is great. Good for you, girl. Oh, Yuri doesn't want to though. I guess it's the same for Yuri. Aw, I wanted to read everyone's poems. <laughs> I love Sayori. I love her. I I guess my character was kind of right about her. She has a little bit of an airhead, but it's adorable. I think it's cute. Whatever. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay. I have an idea, everyone. What is it? Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Such good president. Uh, um. Come on, guys. Yeah, let's do it! <laughs> Sayori, the only one excited. I love her, though. She's confident, man. Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. I agree. I don't know what I'm going to write about, but I agree. Isn't that right, Kelly? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on. There's still one problem. What problem? Eh? What's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. Oh, God. I never said I would join the club. Oh, my God. Then why are you standing here making all these girls think you're interested like a douche? If you have no freaking interest in the club, don't even like give them false hope and like ask them about the club and ask them what they're interested in reading and try to get them get to know them. Into why am I a jerk? <sighs> Sorry, guys. Sorry. <laughs> Sayori may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. <laughs> I still have other clubs to look at, and um, I lose my train of thought. You're literally being asked to join a club with like four really hot, cute girls, and you're like in high school. What's wrong with me? I mean, unless I'm like gay, which is fine. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But, but, see how sad you made them? I'm sorry, I thought, huh. Kelly. Thank you. If I, I wish I could insert myself into the game and be one of the girls and be like, what are you doing? You, you all, uh, I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. <laughs> right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. Psh. One by one, the girl's eyes light up. Yes! I'm so happy! Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey! You really 
you did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed. <laughs> I like that suit guy. Then that makes it official. Welcome to the Literature Club. Ah, oh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Kelly, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already felt feeling the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri and Atsuke clean up their food. All right, guys, I'm gonna save this here. So I learned that my character might still be a jerk because he wants to join the club just to be with beautiful girls, but at the same time, what high school boy wouldn't? Hopefully we learn more about my character and I start to like him more since I'm forced to be this character. I'm just speaking from a girl's perspective. I don't think this character seems very nice, <laughs> but it's funny. The dialogue's funny. I love all the girls and I'm excited to play more. So I hope you guys enjoyed my second playthrough part two of Doki Doki Literature Club and I'll be back with part three. I'm having a lot of fun with this and I hope you guys are enjoying. See you next time.